This morning, a CDC study shows the number of drowning deaths are on the rise after decades of decline. It found drowning does remain the number one cause of death for children ages one to four. And those are troubling statistics, but it's something that we're looking into to keep you and your family safe. I want to get right out to ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick this morning. She's live at the Ballast Point boat ramp. And Keely, you looked into some options for parents to prevent tragedies from happening in the water. What did you find? Hey Dia, good morning. I did and it's an important thing to think about as more kids are getting out of school and we head into the holiday weekend. But that report shows that swimming lessons and water safety training can actually help save lives. It's very important. We live in Florida and there is water everywhere. Um, and so, you know, getting kids in swim lessons and being able to, you know, give them those life saving skills. Lacey Boldman with the YMCA is working to spread awareness about the importance of swim lessons and also is teaching kids life saving skills every day. Lay flat, lay flat, lay flat, lay flat. One of the first things she teaches young children is how to flip on their back and yell for help which is a skill that could save a life in a dire situation. It definitely is very important because it gives that extra time for them to be able to notify someone if they are in on their back yelling. Meanwhile, Dr. Sarah Kirby from Advent Health wants to remind parents to keep a constant eye on your child when you're in or around water. Number one is to always have an adult present at the pool when children are playing near or by or in the pool. It only takes a few seconds for something to happen and someone to start to struggle. She says drowning is fast and it does not discriminate. So parents need to be alert. That's the case for swimming in the pool, but also boating on open waters. It's critical that parents understand they have the right equipment um, and have it available. Forrest Rothschild with Florida Fish and Wildlife says everybody on the boat needs to have a life jacket on board. And especially for young kids, he says wearing a life jacket could be the difference between life or death. It's meant to keep the heads up out of the water and especially for the kids, a lot of them are now all designed to have handles so that you could just reach over, grab the handle that's on the back of the PFD and be able to pull the child out of the water. He says to make sure the life jacket fits. A good way to test is to pull up. If the shoulder straps come up past your ears, the jacket needs to be tighter. Here now, I'm not able to pull this up as high. This is staying snug and fit and secure. So if she was to fall into the water, this isn't floating up while she is sinking down. And Rothschild says they will have an increased presence on the waters this weekend and will be checking to make sure people do have life jackets on board. We have more water safety tips on our website. That's all at abcactionnews.com. Live in Tampa, Kelly McCormick, ABC Action News.